So I went to Helsinki to vote in the second round of the Romanian presidential election. It was on Finnish Independence Day and the earlier buses didn't run, so I had to walk to the train station. But that's okay, I definitely woke up by then and was ready to code something new. A navigation app. Because I've never been to the embassy before and I'll need some kind of map to tell me how to get there. Now, I'll build this using just an image of a map and basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript and good ol' math to figure out coordinate conversions. And to make things interesting, I must use this system alone when I get there. Will I get lost or will I be able to vote? And will it even matter? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. Now let's see how everything went. I started by opening Mopsy, a location-based software I worked on for 10 years during my studies. It's not really in operation since 2020, but some of the things still work. Like here you can see some of my routes from 2014. I'm gonna download a few on my computer to have some real-world coordinates to work with. And Mopsy also has these orienteering maps I think are interesting. So I'll use them to take a screenshot and use this as a map for our app. I'll build the system with Joensu data first, because I know it well, and then I'll switch to Helsinki at the end. I also searched for other map images of Joensu. It will help make the system more robust. So here we have the images and the routes. First two values are the coordinates, and the last one is the timestamp. I won't be needing that in this project. Started coding basic HTML, included one of the images, and once it loads, I drew it on a canvas, like so. Tested the others as well. Last one is really big and has huge margins. Good. If we make it work for these, the system will be quite robust. But let's start with the Mopsy screenshot first. I need to know the coordinates of the top left and bottom right. Mopsy does have a system for finding those, but the coordinates don't have enough precision. So I went to Google Maps and tried to collect the coordinates by clicking on the map as precisely as I could. I took different reference points and tried to get as close as possible. Then I made the data structure to hold the maps and added a link to the image file as well. Included it and got some coordinates to work with. Then Copilot wanted to write the coordinate conversion for me. I saw it's wrong, but decided to go with it and fix it later. After some bug fixing, like variable names and file paths, it showed the dot here made it bigger, and it's obviously at the wrong place. It should be here. I started implementing a way to get the percentage, how far between the top and bottom of the map this point is. We can use linear interpolation. We are so zoomed in, the earth curvature doesn't matter. With that, I needed to scale it to the canvas size, and I implemented a linear interpolation function. If you want to learn more about that, I do have a video about it. The dot seemed to be in the right place, but this code was horrible, so I implemented a new function called remap that, well, remaps the coordinates from the geographical space to this canvas space. And nothing changed, but the code is much easier to work with. Now I started looking at these routes and thought to draw them on the map. If they look good, I know I did a good job. To load them, I converted the files to JavaScript and put the whole content as a string inside different variables. I loaded all three of them and was ready for some parsing. I did it in the console, first splitting by new lines, then each line by space, creating a lat-lon object for each. Seemed to work, so I took the snippet and implemented a function for it, renamed it to be more specific and started writing a function for drawing the root. Copilot wasn't giving what I want. I just wanted dots to appear along the path. I did it and it worked. But I wanted it to look nicer, so I took the color as a parameter and decided to call it twice, with different colors and thicknesses. In this way it will have a contour. After a bit of trial and error, I got it to look like I wanted. Took this out as a function to draw a stylized root and tested it on the others. And everything seemed good, so I added the color parameter to tell them apart. Then I moved to other images. And I'll need to figure out the top, left, bottom, right for these as well, but also these have margins. We'll have to worry about that too at some point. And this bottom part of the map is faded, so I decided to just consider it as a huge margin and take a point here for reference. Others were quite obvious, I think. And it doesn't work. The roots are not in the right place. It's because of these margins. I could have opened these images in some editor to measure how big they are, 
but I decided to make a quick measuring tool here instead. It's actually faster than starting Photoshop or whatever. Now with these values, I made the margins attribute. They're zero for the first map, but here 44, 39, and then considering that faded area, 913. Height minus 913, actually. And bottom is width minus 759. And the width and height, I check from the image using the developer tools, 800 and 1200. And now the second part of the remap has to use those margins like so. Margins, not margin. And voila! Oh, that point is not using the margins yet. Voila again! And the first map still works, with zero margins. Time for the third one. Did the same things basically, so speeding up this part and it worked. Then I moved on to Helsinki and checked with Google to see how I'd walk to the embassy. Decided to screenshot these instructions and use them as the map. So I'd be trying to move along the blue line and my route would overlap it as red. This one had no margins, so only had to do that top, left, bottom, right thing, and I tried to see if I have Mopsy data to test. I had very few routes in Helsinki, and none overlapped with that region, so I checked other users. Andre, even fewer than me. Carol, even fewer. Passi, oh wow, hit the jackpot. Must be a half marathon or something. Took the points in its own file, and boom, just as expected. Now to make this work with our location, I opened the app from last time and just copied the code from there. The one for using the geolocation API. Modified it a bit so it draws a new point on each update. Then took out the context as a global variable and implemented the function to draw the red dot. I didn't need those hard-coded values there anymore. I faked my location using the developer tools and played with coordinates and red dots started appearing on screen. Tried to take a coordinate from the station and added it there to see if it shows. And it did. Removed code used for debugging, uploaded it to my website, started it on my phone, and all I had to do is wait until I got there to test. Okay, so I'm here at the station and I already have this red door. Up here and here somewhere at the top. And uh, I guess this is the correct location. Let's see. I have to see where those, where that walking path is, really. So I'm not sure exactly where to go, but um, after I move a little bit, I get a better idea of where I am. Yeah, so I'm probably somewhere here. I think I'm here on the right side, so now I have to go back, but this is unclear, so I'm going to refresh the page, and yeah, okay, so I go back and then I will go left just before the tracks. So I think it's uh, on the other side of the street. 
Maybe somewhere there where those Yeah, I can see the flag. It's on the lower left corner. Okay, <clears throat> I guess I can call this a success. <laughs> I found the place and um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys. <laughs>